The blood of fencing masters flows through Pavel Teichler's veins. The 20-year-old comes from a long line of internationally acclaimed swordsmen. He's been able to handle a sabre since the age of seven. It's better because uh, my father was a coach and his father was a coach and uh, my mom was a top-level fencer. At first I wasn't really on board with the whole fencing idea and then as, as I got better at, at it and I understood more of the, the small aspects and the, the small details that make the sport, I really enjoyed it. Teichler displayed a strong temperament and impeccable swordsmanship in his first senior world championships. I competed in the FA section. In the group stages of the competition, it went pretty even. I lost three and I won three, which was a good result for my first senior competition. He was beaten by the experience when he came up against the 2011 world champion, Italian Paolo Pizzo. But the youngster still managed the place in the last 64. Top 64 is already like elite of world fencing. Practically everybody who is regularly getting in top 64 can win the world championship. We can't say that he is on that level yet. It was like one result, but that shows his potential. Teichler wants to continue the family tradition by making it to the Olympics. My next big dreams going forward is uh, qualifying for 2020 Olympics. Definitely to become a well-known fencer, someone that is known to be strong. And uh, I think to achieve that dream, I'm probably going to have to win medals at the Olympics or the World Championships. To qualify for the Olympics, he will need to win the Africa Qualification Tournament or be highly ranked. Teichler has the bloodline and the potential, but it will come down to who's quickest with the blade. Judy Shara, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.